You can't say, stop the world, I want to get off. Digital transformation is happening at a rapid pace. And here at Talking Tech, we've met many of the world's tech entrepreneurs over the last few months. But where does such rapid advancement start? Where, are these, where do these brilliant ideas become incubated? Where does tomorrow's technology worker gain his or her skills? Well, Teesside University is a leading center for everything digital. So let's find out why it should be on your sat nav by visiting the Pro Vice Chancellor for Enterprise and Business Engagement, Professor Jane Turner. Welcome, Jane. Thank you, Malcolm. Delighted to be here. I said in my opening piece, Jane, that I think Teesside University is the place to be for all things digital, the place to spark your future. That's my impression, but please convince the rest of the world why Teesside University for your digital and technology future. Thank you. Uh, a number of reasons. Um, our expertise, which has led to our reputation in this area, our facilities, our suite of programs and our role in creating a digital cluster in the Tees Valley and in enabling businesses to embrace digital technologies. So we have expertise in cybersecurity, AI, big data, mobile, web, games, animation, visual effects, gamification and reputation in terms of delivering solutions for immersive technologies in the public and private sector. We've developed machine learning techniques to improve digital marketing for customer experience. We've developed mathematical models to predict and interpret biological and biomedical functionalities. And we conduct um, research in the area of AI with a real focus on Industry 4.0, computer games, social media, healthcare. And then we look at the um, AI research, looks at novel decision making techniques um, and in designs incentive mechanisms to encourage cooperation without commitment in terms of the world of, of AI. And I'll carry on. We're ranked 14th in the world in the Animation Career Review International Animation School rankings for 2020. We have an international festival of animation and games every year called Animex, where we discuss state of the art, um, meet industry experts, go behind the scenes and allow uh, industry to meet our gr graduates and our students and then expertise. We have an annual exposition of our final year student work so that companies seeking to recruit the bright new talent can have access to those individuals. Um, and that's a, a very strong reputation in the, the, the talent that we produce. And we've got amazing facilities, um, but look, turning to the business community, we deliver an, a number of projects that encourage um, digital businesses to scale up for existing businesses to embrace digitalization. Um, and we have a, a National Horizon Center, which is a focal point for partnership with leading biotech companies. Um, yeah, I could go on, but they're just some of the examples of, of what makes Teesside distinctive. And we haven't just been doing this for a year, we've been doing this for a number of years. So a clear reputation in the marketplace. That is certainly a digital wow. Of the very many digital entrepreneurs I've interviewed for Talking Tech around the world, I've been impressed that they are not all, let me call them tech geeks, but they're people with a purpose, anxious to realize their vision. So how does Teesside University help incubate such people? So we have a student futures strategy, which I, I'm responsible for. So we embed entrepreneurship, entrepreneurial experiences across our five schools, across a, a number of academic disciplines. But we also have an incubator space that we've had for about 18 years on campus. So we've got this impactful mix of space and it's in a historic Victoria building on campus. So it's community and that office is meant offers offers mentoring and it's a platform for funding to create sustainable high growth graduate startups and then we run a specific program called launchpad so that's available to our students and graduates up to five years after they've graduated and they get access to 18 months of structured mentoring support office space workshops um, in all areas um, that are relevant to the starting up of a, of a new business. We're also recognised as a university enterprise zone, so we're one of 20 zones in the UK. That's meant we can leverage 5.6 million of investment to help us create and support micro businesses and startups. And we run Launchpad Fuel every year, um, and this year we've supported 30 startups. And we're ranked in the top 10 nationally for the sustainability of our startups 
um, in terms of them trading three years on. So since the Launchpad program was in, launched in 2015, we've seen a 330% rise in student engagement and a 200% increase in the rate of graduate startups. So we've got a real entrepreneurial ecosystem on campus that spills into the wider business community and loads of success st stories of digital com companies that have incubated and then go on to have gone on to thrive so circle cloud cloud-based solutions provider which was uh, incubated by us 19,000 turnover in its first year two years later half a million pound turnover Viral Effect, the region's fastest growing digital marketing company. And, I, and I, yeah, I could go on, um, but yeah, a, an ecosystem in place for um, those of our students who want to go down that path, legitimate career pathway. Excellent. I, I've met so many people on the Talking Tech, uh, the leaders and CEOs who are desperate to find new people. So um, they'll have sat, Teesside University on the sat nav soon, I'm sure. The world of technology and digital is fast moving with, say, marketing now moving to AI and VR, artificial intelligence and virtual reality needs. So how agile is Teesside University in keeping up with such fast moving demands. After all, some universities are not known for being quick changes, are they? And nobody wants to study old tech. No, you're, you're absolutely right. And universities do have a reputation for not being as agile or, or leading as, as they could be. Um, I would say, uh, in my experience of working at Teesside, it's, it's very agile. We undertake a lot of practice-based research, so it's very relevant to the business community. So we're helping drive their knowledge on, but we're also engaging in businesses who are on the cusp of something and just need some support or some research undertaking to help them move that on to the, to the next level. So we're, 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 we're agile, we're doing relevant research. Um, we have to ensure that our graduates have the right skills, knowledge and understanding. So we have industry boards related to each of our schools to make sure that businesses are feeding in what their requirements are and what their challenges are so we can flex uh, our curriculum as a result of that. Um, so that, that partnership enables us to keep creating job ready graduates and entrepreneurs. And because we have such a strong digital presence in the region in terms of businesses and so many of our students stay in the region on graduation, that's a very nice partnership and a very relevant partnership to have. Mm. I'm personally on a mission to drop the word mission and focus upon purpose. Having personally known the university for many years, I feel you yourself know your own purpose very clearly. Am I right? But what's your, and what's your vision of purpose for technology and digital learning? Yes, you are right. We do have a very clear purpose and it's uh, underpinned by values around our moral responsibility to transform lives, uh, which we do on a daily basis, which is why being in academia is such a, an important and responsible job. But we have a future facing learning strategy. We have a partnership with Microsoft, with Apple. So we've and we've developed some high level skills in our academics so that they can embrace technology and, and digital learning, which is all, all obviously very important for our student experience. So we've been undergoing a learning and teaching transformation with one of the biggest and most ambitious digital rollouts in the sector has ever seen. And we've been invited to speak at conferences um, globally to talk about how we're doing that and why we're doing that. So it's a unique pedagogic approach developed by us to equip our students with the knowledge, the skills and the tools to thrive in this complex and uncertain world. Um, and we explore emerging future facing learning practices. We look at research, we look at industry engagement. And as I said, we have very strong partnerships and we have an advanced scheme. So all of our students have access to an iPad. So we have some challenges around digital poverty in our region and we try to address that. So all of our students are on, a, on an equal footing in terms of us being able to give them um, the skills required for digital learning of the future. Wow, and uh, I've got to be proud of that as a northerner that Teesside University are leading the way. Still staying as a northerner, I know my personal answer to this coming up question, but please give me yours. All too often I hear the cry that London is the only place for digital excellence. Perhaps Manchester grudgingly gets a look in. So why should Teesside University be at the top of the list of those students seeking a future career in technology? 
Well, we are one of the UK's leading HE institutions in animation and computer gaming. We produce digital talent that is in demand internationally, and we know that because of the organisations that come to us on a regular basis, seeking our talent and our knowledge and understanding. I've already mentioned Animex Festival that attracts global leaders and showcases innovation in the sector. The university and digital city that I talked about, they work very closely together to offer mentoring and support for entrepreneurs looking to adopt um, or em embark on a digital future. The digital sector that has resulted as a result of the graduates from our university over the last 15 to 18 years was recognised in the Tech Nation report as an actual cluster, commenting on its proximity to the university as being a key strength. And we've got an exciting mix of young, vibrant businesses, homegrown global leaders such as VisualSoft, Clickso, Cubic, Double Eleven. And the sector employs 7,800 people in the Tees Valley. The average salaries are extremely competitive in the national context whilst remaining um, high value. And our digital businesses are, have a really strong appetite to innovate and grow. And, and the proportion of Tees Valley businesses involved in innovation is higher in digital than any other sector of our economy. And the R&D intensity of the sector has increased by 145% in recent years. And no other LEP region has seen the digital innovation rise at a faster rate. Um, and part of the Tees Valley's distinctiveness is the combination of this burgeoning digital sector and industrial sectors that are beginning to explore the potential of industrial digitalization. So that presents an opportunity to better in integrate the local digital supply chain to increase the size of the local workforce, whilst also driving up productivity. So for our students, and as I said earlier, so many of them remain in the region, there is such a vibrant ecosystem cluster for them to embed themselves in. Mm. And, and on top of that, of course, it's a lovely place to live, isn't it? It is, yeah. absolutely. Now, a hidden well, gem. <laughs> yes, without a doubt, yeah. Whilst I know you offer a wide range of stud study subjects in tech, where do you think Tuside University is especially strong and stands out from others? Is it in, as you say, animation, film, VR, uh, building information model? Where? Um, BIM is, is certainly an area of strength for us. Games programming, gamification, VR, games animation, um, and AI um, in this uh, this area, this particular discipline area, are, are particular areas of strength for us. Mm. Jane, finally, you've got three bullet points, you know, bang, 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 right, to say why business or tech businesses and students should have Teesside University firmly in their satin app. What are those three, please? Well, building on what I've said and I'm just concluding that, we have a track record in this area so there is a reputation so it's not just smoke and mirrors there is a, a very strong track record of capability and um, achievement in this area as, a, as an organization and obviously the benefits for our students we we have invested in this area and continue to invest and that that digital cluster that we have been responsible for building as a university is here and it's growing and despite covid it is growing and it is vibrant um, so they would be the three reasons I would give. Mm. Professor Jane Turner of Teesside University, I think you've just given us some very persuasive arguments why both students and businesses should have Teesside University on their sat-nav. Thank you for the interview. Thank you, Malcolm.